I'm sure you know that you should never put lead crystal glassware like this in a dishwasher. But do you know why? Well, the main reason is that the lead crystal is very soft as a material and the surface is very easy to attack as a result. If you put crystal in the dishwasher, it will very, very quickly become cloudy, far more quickly than, say, your usual tumblers or other glasswares. Therefore, if you put your lead crystal in the dishwasher, you lose the main benefit of it, the sparkle, because it becomes cloudy and you'll want to replace it with something else. But why does this actually happen? Why does this glass become cloudy in the dishwasher far more quickly than this glass? In my last video, I talked about how dishwasher tablets, when mixed with water in the dishwasher, attack and dissolve the surface of the glass, resulting in a gradual cloudy appearance to your glass. I also mentioned in that video that making glass is a bit like making a cocktail. You take the base ingredient for glassware, in this case, both for both of these glasses, sand, and you add other things to make your glass cocktail. So this is one glass cocktail, this is another glass cocktail. If you want to make a crystal glass cocktail, we take sand and we add 24% lead to it. We add a few other little things as well, but 24% lead is the key. We melt them together, we mix them up, and we have 24% lead crystal. This lead does some interesting things to the glass, which makes it different to this glass. Firstly, as I'm sure you all know, lead is heavy. And the addition of lead to the glass makes the crystal glass about 30% heavier than the same glass made out of your standard glass material. Secondly, it changes the way in which light goes through the glass. With this glass and this glass, light goes through them, that's why they're transparent. But with this one, it changes the angle at which it comes out and that makes the glass really sparkle, which is of course what makes it so attractive. Thirdly, it reduces the temperature at which we can, we can melt this glass and it makes this glass a lot softer, which allows us to actually cut the glass itself. If you tried to cut this glass, it would be very difficult to do so and very expensive to do so. You'd probably break a lot of them. Whereas this glass, because it's so soft, it can be cut very easily. And finally, and unfortunately, it makes the glass far more prone to chemical attack by the, the water and the dishwasher detergent. And that's why this glassware is easier to cloud in a dishwasher. But what, what actually makes it easier to cloud in a dishwasher? What makes this glass and this glass different? What makes this glass softer than this glass? Well, I want you to try and imagine a fishing net um, stretched out on the dockside. The glass on an atomic scale, if you look at it, looks a bit like a randomly tied fishing net with lots of ropes and knots and very randomly spread out. When you add to you this fishing net lead and you try and pick it up, of course, that lead is incredibly heavy and it's going to start breaking some of the ties in your fishing net. And if you have less ropes holding the net together, the net is not going to be as strong as before. This is exactly what happens. The lead is considered to be a network breaker, reducing the number of ties or bonds in the fishing net and making it much easier to break. Because it's easier to break, when the detergent comes in and tries to attack the glass surface, it is less able to resist this attack, and so it corrodes much more quickly as the detergent breaks this net at the surface of the glass much more easily because there are less ties holding the surface together. Now, if we take the ordinary glass here, which is actually technically called soda glass, what we do is instead of adding 24% lead to this mix, this sand mix, this cocktail, as we do with the 24% uh, lead crystal, we add about 30% soda to the mix instead. Now, the soda does exactly the same as the lead. It breaks up the ties in this net, but it does so to a lesser extent. So this glass, therefore, has more ties and is a stronger net. And therefore, when the, the, the dishwasher detergent comes in and attacks the surface, it finds it more difficult to dissolve because there are more ties in the net holding the glass together. Now, you may ask, what is the point? Why do we add anything to our sand cocktail then? Why not just take sand and make sand glass, silica glass? And indeed, some, some very high engineering glasses are called silica glass for that reason. They have very few things added to them. But the problem for us, and the reason that we add ingredients to our cocktail, is the sand on its own is virtually unworkable. Very, very high 
temperature melt, which makes it expensive, and it's very, very high temperature work, which means that it's very, very difficult to form into this glass or this glass um, unless you add things to it. It'll be far too expensive to do it that way. So our glass is a compromise. We need to balance what we need to make the glass at workable temperatures at costs we can afford, whilst accepting some compromises in the performance and durability of the glass as a result. Not all soda glasses, I should mention, however, like this one, are the same. Some manufacturers cheat, and they add a bit more soda to the mix than they should. This makes the glass cheaper to produce because it lowers the firing temperature, and it means you use less energy. We all know at the moment energy is very expensive. Um, but it also means that, again, you're breaking down more of this fishing net, and therefore it's much easier, again, for the glass to be attacked. So it doesn't perform as well as slightly better glass with a lower soda content. It's all a balance. But that doesn't necessarily mean, however, that cheap glass is bad glass. Cheap glass can be very good glass. Um, let me explain what I mean. There are two types of soda glass, as far as we're concerned. There's domestic soda glass, meant for use in the home, and there's commercial soda glass, meant for use in bar and rest bars and restaurants and that sort of thing, and they are slightly different. Generally, let's, let's just consider what dishwasher safe is. Generally, for a supermarket to label a glass as dishwasher safe, it will be tested to the equivalency of 500 cycles in a domestic dishwasher. And in that test, they will look to ensure that the cloudiness or the attack of the glass is not that visible after 500 cycles. It will be there, but there will be a standard against which they compare it, and as long as it's better than that standard, it will be considered dish dishwasher safe. This is a general standard that retailers use in Europe. And yes, there is a European standard for that test. Commercial glassware, however, um, is normally much more resistant to surface attack than domestic glassware. And it's down to this cocktail again. Commercial glassware is often rated up to 1,200 cycles, so 500 cycles, 1,200 cycles, or even beyond. The glass manufacturer does this by adding a little alumina to the cocktail. This does the opposite of the soda or the lead, and it actually makes or make, it makes more ties in the net, so that it makes it stronger. It's considered a network former, so your net has more ties, it becomes stronger, more resistant to corrosion. The good news is, that many commercial glasses are sold on the high street. Now, sometimes they'll sell them as a premium. I've seen wine glasses being sold as highly dishwasher resistant, and they sell them for a premium, which is fine. But in the end, these commercial glasses are normally produced in huge volumes. And one of the reasons they sell them on the high street is because they're making these huge volumes. They can sell them very cheaply. So they can shift even more of these glasses, sell more of these glasses, by selling them at a very cost-effective price point. So not all, all cheap glasses, cheap effectively. Um, how do you identify this glass weather? That is the difficulty. To spot them, what you need to do is look for shapes that you would see in a commercial cafe or restaurant. And you may get lucky. I've picked three shapes here. This is a very standard wine glass. This is a very standard tumbler. This is a very standard beer glass. And the chances are, if you're looking at glasses of of this sort of shape that you see within a restaurant or a bar, there's a good chance that it's made of this stronger soda glass and you'll see even less clouding in the dishwasher. This is why I haven't actually shown you any glasses with blooming or, blooming or cloudiness in this video. I genuinely don't have any. And that's not because I specifically went out and thought, oh, I'm only going to buy commercial glasses. It just so happens that that is what I have here. Um, I wish I had a cloudy glass to show you, I don't. Finally, I just want to give you one last word on this cocktail, one more cocktail mix for you to consider. Do you remember when you were in school, you would take a test tube and heat a liquid in it? Or you may buy a double walled tea glass now and pour boiling tea or coffee into it. Well, that cocktail glass recipe is called borosilicate. What you do is, is instead of putting lead and soda into this net, you put boron in. And the boron is a little bit like the alumina causes this net, this fishing net, to develop a huge number of very dense ties. And it makes it really, really strong. It results in something which is incredibly heat resistant, but also incredibly chemical resistant. You'll never see a double walled tea glass cloud in the dishwasher for that reason. 
So I hope you now have some knowledge as to why your glasses go cloudy in the dishwasher and also why you should never put crystal glass in the dishwasher. The simple reason is the alkaline tablet mixes with the water and dissolves or attacks the surface of the glass, making it cloudy. So what should you do? Either use a dishwasher tablet which is designed to be gentle on the glass, although it won't eliminate the problem completely, but it will slow it down. Or find a glass which is designed with a material which will resist this attack. Or, it's not popular, I know, I'm sorry, hand wash your glasses. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'd love to answer questions. I'm, I'm really keen to do these videos and I hope you're finding them interesting. Um, and if you leave me questions in the comments, then I'll try and answer if I, if I feel I have knowledge that's relevant to answering that question. Thank you.